dark blue color we have got skunky and in the light blue this is psychic wizard together they are the skunky wizards Playing as Atriox and Johnson and then on the other side we have got in the yellow color Dr. Hazy, his partner, Bruem808 Twitch TV, this is the Hazy Ham team. They're playing as Decimus and Cutter. Welcome to the bronze round of the 2v2 Amateur League Season 2 Qualifier 2. There will be a third one as well. Then we'll make a bit of an invitational with the top eight teams throughout the league. Two hundred and fifty dollars will be the main prize pool when we get there. Today they're playing for points and entry. Big shout out to our website subscribers who are allowing these kind of tournaments to happen. Thanks to their support, it's possible. We really appreciate it for sure. If you are one of those, then make sure to collect your perks. If not, if you want to become one, check out our YouTube description or Twitch About section. First month is 50% off. Now let's see what Skunky is doing. Atriox is chosen soon. Psychic Wizard going for the early barracks. Team Red went for the really early mini base in the middle and the Harvester is already almost gone. The Marines start peppering it with a Assault Rifle of Fire. That won't last very long for sure. Can these guys hold it though? Jerome's coming out. Uh, Warlord is actually not out yet. He's gonna get the Hammer Pull upgrade first. Harvester is gonna be absolutely wrecked. There is no chance they'll make their money back. The Grunts are next. Then I no doubt would say that we will see a bunker getting dropped in. Nice wiggles, but still the Marines, I don't think they can really take that Hellbringer. It's a beautiful split though, so the splash damage won't be bothering the Marines no more. But when there's two Hellbringers, I mean, you just put... <laughs> Put them on the different targets and you're good to go from there. Brute's getting added into this. A bit to countermeasure mine, slowing down the grunts and now they can just hammer away at the base itself. The add-on buildings are being destroyed separately to gain more leader power experience for Team Blue, which is actually super important and a really good play. You already hurt them, might as well finish the job, right? Now this mini base is gonna be taken over. It was recycled. It doesn't give back any resources as far as I recall. So that's not a particularly valuable move, but it does deny experience. There is that. Power not gonna be taken over. There's a suicide grunt here which could be put to great use. Warlord's coming out, but this is looking like a pretty good start for Team Skunky Wizard. And it's a good location for the bunker, I would say, but maybe it could have been more aggressively placed, used as a stun. I definitely like that they're just securing the power node with this. The Atriox player can expand behind this. Skunky, I assume. Um, I, I actually haven't seen him use the mines, so he might have fortifications, but it's not as good of, of a synergy to do that as getting the mines. You got countermeasures already, you might as well get the plasma mines behind that. Where is it? I heard some mines getting dropped. Oh, that's just... Never mind. That's just countermeasures. Oi, that is huge. Getting the hero pulled in there, vortex as well. And the turret will finish him off, almost certainly. Uh, the Warlord should make sure though. There's gonna be another pull available, I'm certain. So maybe it's after all the turret that's gonna do the trick. Chosen's fast though. It will be able to get away. Where's the pull? Okay, there it is. There will be at least one attack coming through. Can it be saved? No. Nice attempt, but it's not enough.
Second generator might go down there. Gotta hurry up with that brute and target it though. It's actually slapping the Spartan, which will take some health damage, but can handle itself just fine. Right, the Hellbringers are looking for a new target. After all, blue team has got all the mini bases on the map, so that's starting to look pretty good to me. They're still pretty well set up overall. And they're getting exposed behind this, so losing the push is acceptable considering how much damage they've already done beforehand. But fighting the two heroes at the same time? That's a taller order. And now they can be the ones to take back the mini bases. That could definitely happen. Great stun. That's four grunts toast. Well, maybe not. Not if they leave. I mean, these are, after all, upgraded bunkers. Plenty of defenses here. Good split out of the beam from our Johnson player, by the way. Are we gonna finish off that mini base? Certainly seems doable. That's a lot of Hellbringers here. I think our cutter player is more than capable of pulling this off. ODST comes in. That will stun the entire army here. Skunky Wizards now in trouble. All those Hellbringers are roasting Johnson alive. And now he dead. Hitrox is chosen, getting remade. Psychic Wizard will need to do the same with Johnson. He doesn't have... Actually, the building for it. So our counter player could go and do a lot of damage right now. Not gonna be any heal available for a while, but he's in tier 2. On the base, I'm certain there will be an air pad at some point. But meanwhile, this infantry seems very killable. Psychic Wizard is almost certainly going to lose the expansion. Oh, the pool is actually getting rid of the Marines. They can't get into the bunker. And even if they do... The base is gone. Doesn't matter. Bunker is gonna be destroyed. Perhaps Team Red's interested in taking this area over. Spartan make sure to take down that Marine, but it might have been a mistake as there's several Elite Rangers here to... Do some damage back to him. And the Chosen will certainly finish him off. Oh! Oh, he got a siphon on him. That's very nice to see. Another bunker to help the push. Airpad, I think it is making the Nightingale now. The Chosen seems to be caught again. That's a Vortex. He's gone. Well, it's pretty quick. Warlord's got to be careful here. He's essentially dead. Good job by the Rangers taking him out. The EMP Mag Blast. Harming a lot of the Marines. But Nightingale should be able to fix this for the most part. Looks like the Marauders trying to take it out though. And it succeeds. Johnny is here. It's entirely possible that Team Blue has just brought this back. The Bunker is going to be a very powerful anchor in this situation. Especially with all those units in there. And all that these guys have got to do is to get out of range of that drop turret. And everything is okay from there. ODST drop is available. Spartan should be able to stun. Which can be followed up by the ODST drop. Should have been the other way around. Actually, Hazy can't. Couldn't afford it until just now. So here they come. Turret's gonna do a lot more damage in the process. 
And now Johnson in the garrison doing what he can to help out. And along with the Rangers, they're actually going to do a lot of damage. The ODSTs are going down again. Nightingale's going to heal up the bunker. Yeah, these bunkers are going to be totally full, man. Chosen arrives. He doesn't have his tier 2 upgrade. So, should definitely get on that. Psychic Wizard almost ready to go tier 3. And we all know what happens after that. Johnson just goes insane. Hazy loses the base. He's in a lot of trouble in general as he wasn't able to get anything done so far. Broom trying to go into vehicles level 2, but Johnson's more than capable of handling himself, I think. As for our banished army, it's a little bit heavy on rangers. Would be nice to see a bunch of additional hunters, maybe. That was Atriox, right? Yeah. Are we gonna see more brutes? What? Why brutes? Dark skies? It's a little late for that. Not dark skies, even. It's just brutes. Very mixed army from Skunky. Yeah, I would have liked Hunters. This Hellbringer is nice, weakening the base that it builds. It's basically not even worth making it. Very annoying, you have to send something to take it out. Having a few of those scattered when people try to get bases is super useful. And there's the Mantis. Psychic Wizard now in tier 3. Gonna upgrade the Mantis with their... With their stuff. Shield and Missile Requisition coming in soon. Desi absolutely... Uh, Desi? Volord wiping out the army as much as he can. Safely without losing the shields. EMP Mac class is ready to go. This is a huge army, however. And even with the Spartan Slam, I don't really know if this is worth tackling right now. The shields are gonna last through the beam, I think. So it doesn't do anything. You never wanna beam the shield, guys, just as a heads up. Barely does anything. Now that it's down, though, it would have been nice to have it. But EMP Mac Blast here, also pretty good. How did that Locust not get EMP'd? What? Anyway. Is that Chosen gonna get sniped again? I'm losing it, dude. Nah. It's in the bunker now, but dies on the way out. The ST drop coming in, and that gets rid of the Johnny. Yeah, Team Red kind of recovering. Might have a little momentum there. They'll certainly need it. Because if they don't, the income of Team Blue is just going to go out of control. The Hellbringer wasn't able to completely tear down the base. As it's remained alone the whole time. A little bit of follow-up there would have been good too deny it, but that keeps going. I'll tell you what, actually Team Red not looking too bad. All those locusts gonna destroy Psychic Wizard's bases, no defending this. And even if there was a chance there's all these Cyclops, they'll handle this easily enough. Next base is still an expo. Skunky Swan, there's no base shield, there's no there's no hero, certainly no double hero, certainly no wall of bunkers. And all these locusts are just climbing in number. Team Red might be making a full comeback and cleaning up every single building. It's great to see all this base damage from our Desi player and all the counter units from our cutter. Gotta be really careful with those Cyclops, they're about to all go poof. And here comes our damage donut to help finish off the base real quick. Shield comes up, but these will strip it pretty quickly. And then the locust can do the rest. Kind of 
Catar Army is still looking relatively decent. Surprised to see Dr. Hazy not do the big drop. Because that would have lasted longer than all this. I think the base was going to be goner anyway. Did Skunky Wizards just lose the game? They have no army, dude. This is tough. How are you going to defend against all this? They're just going to plow through every single base. And be like, I'm a fire in my lasers. They're rather well upgraded as well. I think those are tier two locusts or level two locusts. Kanki loses another base. This is getting tough. Hello, Johnny has his Gauss gun. Psychic Wizard attempting a quick transition into Vultures. It's very risky, they build very slowly. You queue up four of them and it takes forever to them to, for them to come out. And there are a bunch of vehicles here to take care of it. The beam and the stun is very nice for sure. Or as Team Respawn would say, whoa, 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 whoa. Psychic Wizard's base is really under severe threat from all these locusts. The heals are strong. Double heal is actually overkill. That goes above the limit of what what is possible for the base to receive. So you want to stagger that for the record. But then we've got our Vortex. That's a 30% armor debuff. The healing isn't going to help. Nothing's going to help against that many locusts targeting that nerfed base. Even our cutter is going to heal their infantry. And I wouldn't be shocked if Psychic Wizard and Skunky resigned just now. I think they are about to. Maybe they're going to try to 1v2 this, but I think that's impossible to, to accomplish at this point. There's not enough stuff. And that's going to be it. Game once going to the Hazy Ham, but just barely. That was a close one. Here we go with game two. Skunky is in the dark blue. And his ally Psychic Wizard in the teal. Together they are the Skunky Wizards. They're going to be playing as Yap Yap and Colony. Then on the other side, in the dark red, we've got Bruem. His ally is Dr. Hazy in the yellow. Together, they're the Hazy Ham. And they're going to be playing as Yap Yap and Forge. Little grunts are everywhere looking for some mini base deals, I presume. Skunky isn't having any of it. He's got a super early back mini base. And Psychic, Psychic Wizard might be doing much the same. What is he spending his resources on, dude? Is he getting like a... Whoa. He's got out the chopper and... A skit immediately and he's cancelling buildings. Sending the skit to the back mini. Make sure he gets it. Oh! Is he gets a mini steal. It looks like Team Red will be just fine in the back. As this is a cannon for the versus cannon for the race. We all know who wins that one. Power pickups look also rather skewed towards Team Red, but costing them a jackrabbit. It seems like there's going to be an aggressive barracks. I'm not sure about that. That seems rather easy to deal with for a colony player, especially with the skid choppers around. Already killing another marine. That's a lot of losses for Hazy. Already lost a jackrabbit, now a marine. 
Then the midi base is probably next. There's no way that barracks units will change that. Just gonna respawn with more choppers and you're good to go. Actually, Psychic Wizard is making grunts. That's a mistake. Okay, hazy cancels. It's fine. It's officially... It's officially viable to do the grunts then. Skunky a little more careful. He's still making a chopper. But then again, a Yap Yap player should make a mixed composition. You're gonna have barracks units and a chopper or two and uh, maybe a bunch of methane wagons are a good addition as well. It's generally what happens in tier 1 at least and now the grunts can go and capture the power nodes which they're already doing for team red. Got one in the back here. Gonna take a long time for our UNSC player to re-establish stuff. Got the double raid camp on the home base that is a little bit unconventional. That's usually just a double power extractor for a Yap Yap player. But you know, if you can actually afford pumping, then why not? Problem is, he's not. He made two raid camps and he didn't use them, so... I guess he made quite a bunch of heavy grunts, but... Eh, you know, can't complain about 10 heavy grunts, that's good. I, I take it back. I know when I'm wrong. This is good. Skits. Capitano. Good mix. Also... Those grunts just really ate that mine. <laughs> Get wrecked. Well, the three units is easy enough to remake. I wonder if Team Red can pressure with what they've got. I mean, they're already putting on the pressure. Having captured two power notes, I'm probably gonna start working on the third one momentarily. It's gotta count for something. The UNSC can take over this one. Then they've got four power nodes. I like the expansion a lot, and Bruem soon able to go to tier 2. Dr. A is a little slower on that. Has to get that second generator upgraded. Well, technically you don't have to. You can go tier 2 before that, but... You get more power faster. If you upgrade that gen, but if you're so close to tier 2, you might as well wait. Depends what you want from it. Well, the tier 2 stuff is pretty power intensive, so maybe you want to make Warthogs, then you don't really need the power. You just want the faster tech up. Maybe you want combat tech marines or dispersion all for your Hellbringers. And you probably should pre-upgrade the power, because that's expensive stuff. Well, Hunter Captain and... Methane Wagons together. Gonna make the UNSC's eyes sore. Okay. Port wagons go poof. Good leader power combo there. Everything got yeeted, but a lot of the actual grunts remain. Now colony player will have to handle this on his own. The <laughs> ninja base did not come up. Not so easy to, to steal those. Oi! What's this then? Dr. Hazy in a little bit of trouble, but he's got grunts. Should be fine. Maybe you lose a gen. Whatevs. Be nice to have a heal, but... Yeah, what's the chances of that as Forge? Nothing. You actually don't have a heal until third point, so you would have had to not go for Scatter Bomb. Like, that's ever gonna happen. Anyway, Heavy Grunts clean up. Those are some annoying Shade Turrets. 
Watch tower gonna get me to draw their fire. It's the cheapest option here. Psychic wizard gonna try to retake the base. It's got enough to guard it with, I think. But if red and yellow combine their troops again for a big push, I think that's gonna be rather threatening, especially if it's backed up by Vortogs. Then again, a good use of the Vortogs is really to just go back here and run over all these mini bases. I think that would be fantastic. Yellow could take all that over, or they can share between the between the team. That's also cool. Point is, you get a lot of leader power points for destroying those. Then building mini bases is actually one of the most leader power efficient ways to build up. You guys should watch Rock Generation's little guide. I think it's on his Twitch. Don't know if he uploaded it to his YouTube, but he speaks in detail about the numbers. As for myself, I would have to data mine the numbers. I don't remember. But I know mini bases are the most cost effective way to gain XP in the game. And that's because they count for the same XP as building a real base. Which they probably shouldn't, but hey, <laughs> that's what it is. <gasps> Mines! Ooh! Okay, actually not much has died there. Just a chopper and a bunch of grunts. Still, this push is looking spooky. The Grunt Tomb held out for a long time and there's another scatter bomb coming down. Those goblins will be stretching thin. Hunter's Brand did essentially nothing. We should see some more goblin heals. There we go. So all those heavy grunts are essentially immune along with the Cannon Father. Almost no health was lost. Hunter Capitano will be going down there. And the goblins cannot hold against all these Vortogs. Even the Goliaths are outmatched here. I love the addition of the Locust by, by Bruam. And that will siege down this base eventually. This is looking pretty good. Psylak, you can also link it here in the chat. While we're... While we're all here, you have mod powers. You can do it. It's just everyone else that can't link. Well, Team Red is going pretty well here. Taking down that last gobbo. Easy peasy. There's really nothing left to stop these guys, I think. We're likely going to have to move on to the next game at this point, unless a miracle happens. Uh, yep, yep, drop. Not particularly impressive to try and save this. What else is the option? Um, what were we again as Psychic? Oh, Colony. Well, if there's Devastating Host, then I would say maybe. But they just destroyed that shield and they're getting beamed. Oh my god. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Skunky's base is about to be main down. There's a triple locust here to save the day. And while the turret keeps going on that, I've, uh, there's way too much stuff here, man. Methane Wagon is being annoying, but Skunky Wizards are gonna give this one up. And we're going to a game free, which could become the decider already if the hazy ham go ham. <laughs> Skunky Blue Psychic Wizard Teal Together there Skunky Wizards We've got the Serena and Arby combo which is working so well on this map I love it On the other side in the red we've got Bruam as well as Dr. Hazy together there the Hazy Ham Playing as Atriox and Serena which is also a good variant of this. RB has a better tier too, I would say, than Atriox, but the early game of Atriox is pretty brutal as well. Is that Chosen with the slow? It's so capable of racking up value over time. 
Whereas our RB is going to be a little bit more solid with the enforcers trying to plow through the middle, taking down mini bases and whatnot. And there's our raid camp. It's going to be pretty damaged by the time things get started. All the grunts were rallied over here. And they're certainly getting some work done. I see a lot of power on the map still. But everything was whipped up for the most part. Cryo troopers are coming out. There's a little bit of wiggling going on there. And I'd really like this suicide grunt attempt. Bruham, if he can go for this right now. That's a really good pre-split, however. Okay, that suicide grunt actually didn't get all that much done. Huh. Interesting. Freezing on that mini base without the raid camp, it really can't defend itself. Like I said, that early game of Skunky Wizards is looking pretty good. Oh, I said that in between the break. So, sorry, YouTube. Point was that Skunky Wizards, in my opinion, has to work on the mid game for the most part. I'm sure they'll be re watching this and uh, spotting that there's not enough counter units in the mid game. base will almost certainly be destroyed. Got a bunch of marines coming up. So maybe there's a counter-attack forming. But they're just gonna run into cryo troopers, so <laughs> so much for that. Good amount of power nodes for Team Blue, I have to say. Got some yellow eyes over there. Yeah, don't eat the yellow snow. I'll put that out there. My second gonna deter here. And it looks like with the ice cream truck's help, this barracks is totally possible to take down. Are they going to go for the big counterattack onto the main base? This is like open season right now. I think they should absolutely listen to that killer instinct and do the killy things. What are they going to do? What is yellow going to do to protect this? It's going to take ages for this low thing to come across the map. Taking down that harvester now. Harvester's getting frozen. And the extractor's next. coming up so yeah team skunky might have done it but this ice cream truck is looking pretty potent to me the mines will be avoided snipers trying to help oh they might be able to get it done oh the heal it's too late it's too late the two extractors will be destroyed it's so difficult to come back from stuff like that. Even with all this heal, the second shatter will be just a little bit too much.
Okay. Yeah, Team Skunk is staying one step ahead, it seems. Now they've got Enforcers on the minibases. Alrighty. That's a good attack force here for Dr. Hazy. I think he's got a chance of making some retaliation damage happen. Dr. Hazy just reached tier 2. As for Skunky, we've got... Oh, what happened there? Did, did he swap like a pad for another... Where's the generators, dude? What is happening here? Why does he have zero gens? Dude! What just happened? Alright, that one base is now a goner. Can they also take this? There's two turrets. And there's ice. And there's a massive counter attack. Mines will help a lot guarding these units. No, Suicide Guns actually just crashed into the base. Oh wow. The two Marauders, not nearly enough to deal with the Enforcers. Broom is about to lose the main. Can they get a counter attack done, however, here? Uh, it's, it's not that many units here. I think they'll be much slower. Psychic Wizard and Skunky, I think they made it happen here with the early game aggression that they're so much better at. I like it when they play this much more aggressive style and they should be picking maps that support this better. Like Frontier, that was good. Fishers is available as well. Should they wish for something like this. Now the thing is, Dr. AZ kinda has to solo this and try to make something happen. There's like a bunch of grunts available. Oh, there's a Locust, okay. That could put Psychic Wizard into a little bit of trouble, I must I must admit. Dr. Hazy should definitely upgrade turrets. He's only got watchtowers! Dude! Do these guys even know? The Kodiaks. Look how far they can see! Thanks to the Marine. Oh my god. The counterattack is actually working. Psychic Wizard is gonna lose his main, but he's also trying to get the base back up. He's selling all his buildings, remaking a little bit of resources, 600, and then some in the bank. The mini base will generate some economy for him. As for the counterattack, Dr. Hazy's mini is gonna be gone. There's a bunch of Kodiaks here. Oh, 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 this drop is going to deal with the Kodiaks just fine. Even despite the... Oh, that's not a... That's a blue drop turret, sorry. Yeah, that's not gonna save the Kodiaks. It's gonna do the opposite. It's gonna unsave them. The Kodiaks now shedding the main base along with Enforcers. It's never had a chance. Team Blue takes this one, I think. The heal is nice, but it only lasts so long. So Skunky Visits might be making a comeback happen. At least we get a fourth game. Fortress getting buffed up there. 
What are those Kodiaks shooting at, dude? Why are they shooting at the watchtower? <laughs> what? <laughs> to shoot the maid. No. Game. Okay. It was just me. Hopefully. Hopefully the players aren't playing in that kind of lag. Psychic Wizard gets his base back up and running. There's a bunch of units trying to pressure him, but... Defending against this, I don't think it's happening, guys. Fantastic stuff. One turret, that's good. Psychic like Wizard, all he needs to do is just get this other base on the other side and then uh, Team Blue can go and counterattack again. Again, there's no defenses at home whatsoever. No one's at home, in fact. Dr. Hayes is going to have to spend all his resources just remaking the buildings, let alone units. Those are a long way away. The Kodiaks shelling down the infantry. Psychic like Wizard might not even lose his main. Half health and definitely repairable for the moment. Is there gonna be some repair? He's RB, right? So should be almost no problem, just needs a plasma bolt or something. Locus goes down. Spirit assault, that's a good idea. Or maybe they'll do it on offense. Oh. Well, they find it. These boys getting beamed, but decent split. My unit's getting hurt, but it's okay. They're getting healed up too. Focus being a little bit of an annoyance, but nothing these guys can't handle. Shields are almost down after all. And that's a Nightingale. That's it. That's gonna be it. Team Red. Can't defend themselves, and Skunky Wizards gain a point on the scoreboard. It's official. Game 4 coming right up. Which... Are we gonna wait for that? What is going on here? Is that a... Is that Grunt alive or dead? I guess the answer is neither. What are we waiting for? The, I, I can't see anything on the map. Well, the base is gonna time out, so... Oh! Sorry, sorry, these are yellow. Anyways. This guy. What's that guy? Versus this guy plus that guy. <laughs> it's my professional intro. We've got Jerome and Decimus for Team Blue, and we've got. I just did that. And we've got RB and Izzy. RB Bell. And Jerry miss. Yes. That's how we're gonna do that. There's mines on the mines. Gotta be careful. Nobody wants to touch this. Okay, the ground's gonna clear it up, so... Now it's safe. Both teams... Wait, it's only red teams on the minis. So, it's gonna be pretty important right now to slap down the barracks, even if it's the barracks fourth. You have to get this going, man. Otherwise, Team Red will just pump out infinity barracks units. One thing you can do, I guess, is to surround this with everything you've got. 
If all these units are shooting at the mini base, they might be able to take it down before it becomes a problem. Bruem is making something. It's a suicide grunt that I think just got cancelled. Because he needs the generator upgrade. He didn't get any power this time around. Oh man. Yeah, that's tough. He's gonna lose the mini. Taking over the power node. And we're getting hammer pull out. That's before the hero. Surprising, because the Warlord is actually one of those heroes that you can get before getting the upgrade. I think it's, typically speaking, worth it. Oh, what happened to Hazy's main, dude? He's missing build. What? Hazy? Skunky Wizards is starting to do pretty well there. This is gonna get Vortex and then the hero can finish it all off. Oh my. Oh my minds. That's a lot of grunt kills all of a sudden. Harry Tuna just subscribed. That puts us at, what, 28? Out of our goal of 30. I think that's correct. No, no, it's 29. You're number 29. Thanks very much. One more and we hit the goal. Thanks guys for the support. You guys rock. Second power extractor is upgraded. More Sue is coming through. And you know what? Skunky Wizards are once again in a position where they might be able to win this game. <laughs> if they reverse sweep, that's bonkers. They are in that position twice in this tournament already. Super wild. Okay, they get the early detonation on that one. That could have gone either way, really. Nice, they're gonna be laid down on this. The Jerome is in trouble, but he gets in there. He is saved by the stasis. That's incredible. This would have been devastating otherwise. Desi Slam is doing a lot of work. Oh. Hey, Apex Sean gifting a sub. Thank you so much. We hit the goal. Hell yeah. That is awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Alright, Alice might be popping back out shortly. Actually, Hazy is deciding to upgrade to tier 2 first before trying that. I bet he's thinking he wants that chain gun first. Turrets might be able to hold. I mean, it is three of them, but it's two heroes. Several jump back roots. They gotta be careful with the Suis. Oh! It's 
some nasty. <laughs> Yo, he's going down there. Ouch. It'll be easy to dodge those mines. It's kind of desperation play by this point. This is why it's nice to have that Spartan out, because even if you can't mine combo, you can still at least jump on those brutes and finish them off. Well, that blast helped a little. But still, building has been lost. Okay, maybe the Alice. Maybe the Alice can finish the Jerome. There she goes. And next. Oh! The Ranger blocking the path as well. This is so good. 2 4 no. <laughs> 2 4 0. That's great for Alice. I'm sure, I'm sure she got a lot of XP from this. Especially if she also gets the Mantis, imagine that. I'll make sure to stop her. Ah. If you're moving... You don't get XP. Getting the armory back out. Eventually will happen, but not before the chain gun finishes. Oh, this could be the this could be the comeback for the hazy ham. Alice is very capable when it comes to taking down infantry squads. She's faster than these snipers. Should be absolutely no issue for her to to get that down. Vortex is in, but we've got a jump that buys a lot of time away from the Vortex, so damage gets reduced a lot. But her armor is still weakened for, I believe, like 5 or 6 seconds or whatever it is. Oh, that's a brutal beam, but I think Alice has the ability to take care of these two. Yeah, yeah, the elites have to run. She's just gonna run them down. That won't be XP, but I mean, just killing the units is innately valuable, right? Team Blue has been pushed back significantly. Skunky is trying to expand, and so is Psychic Wizard. His bases are up. Spartan has to be careful, wants to get the shields back, no doubt. Victory to Earth Stun is actually huge there, and the Desi pull. Followed up by the slam. Followed up by the jump. Huh. Can that Spartan get away now? Nice plasma bolt. I think she's getting away. Holy moly. What was that? What? What? What killed her? What was that? What just happened? What? What did I just with? I... Can somebody explain? She just died to nothing. Was there a ranger shot that I didn't see? She had plenty of health. Look like an assassination animation almost. Anyway. Mastodons are getting filled up by Hellbringers. That's a good little comeback mechanic. I'm not sure that's enough infantry to hold. Certainly the Nightingales are going to help a lot here. And that's a Mac Blast. Goodbye engineers. That's a triple kill. Very nice. Still gotta deal with these though. What do you do? Mine will detonate on that one. I guess the locusts are gonna be helpful. Now bringers not particularly good against it.
Quick ejection because the Spartan's back. Oh, we got Wraiths! Oh, Bruin made it to tier 3. That changes everything about the dynamic of this. Skunky's mini base is toast. All these wraiths can make a lot happen. The Mastodon is filled up with something. Mm, Dr. Hazy working his way towards tier 3 as well. Skunky and Psychic Wizard. Well, Psychic Wizard is in tier 3. Can upgrade the hero at least. Maybe there's room for Desi drop eventually. Not right now, not with these resources though. Mastodons are gonna be good for holding, but what to do about all these rapes. Actually, the beam is doing a lot about those rapes. Even the reaver dies. It's pretty good. Got an elite assault group coming in. And that should be able to take care of this warlord, especially if they stasis him. Trash dump coming in. That will take care of the elites. For the most part. Ram at 66 pop. Psychic Wizard at 40. Skunky at 48. Easy at 38. It's a little lower there. I think that Spartan is trapped. Couldn't quite make it out of there. Totally makes sense for Team Red to retreat a bit and just get back in there later. Neutral implant is coming in, so Spartan's gonna be fully upgraded. Would like to see either tanks or or vultures. Ram needs to upgrade his base. Ugh. Skunky is ahead economically compared. Psychic Wizard, all he needs is oh, he's got stolen. There's a ghost in the machine. Seems like to me they got sent the wrong way. I guess the units would have died here if. Question in the chat. Is Hazy really even a doctor? You never know with these doctors these days. It's true. This push is looking deadly once again, but that's plenty of raves to beat it with. I think they've got a chance. Decimus and the Warlord can pull two immediately and very quickly take care of them, however. That's probably what we should be expecting. Where are the watchers? That's an nightingale coming out. No watchers. I like the double anti vehicle turret though, that melts the wraiths. Beam. Dr. Hazy, might lose your base. no healing here there's like one nightingale and two engineers it's not enough good use of the stasis to save this however there's no mines in the middle of all that so the spartan using the stun but not getting all that much done with this if the mantis getting dropped back in that tank 
getting taken down, it seems. Okay, there was a mine in the back after all. But Hazy now has no units and completely relying on Bruem to save the day. I'm not sure the man can get it done. A lot of these units are not even moving. And even with the anti-vehicle anti turrets being so good. I don't think it's enough. Alice probably can't come out here. Especially not with the Vortex nerf off the base. Oh god. That's a goner. Wingman? No, 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 no. On one air pad, guys, you're never going to make an air transition. Especially not Hornets. Can you trickle a little bit of Vultures? Maybe. As a composition to something else. That's why he's making a second air pad, but he's under heavy attack, so this isn't gonna be the answer. Oh well, I'm gonna try. But Wingman isn't it. Oh! These units just walking over the mines like it's nothing. Well, it's not nothing, let me tell you. Got the Kodiak on the high ground also helping out. It's just shelling these guys from so far away. Not an issue at all. Dr. Hazy's in serious trouble here. Looks like Team Blue can clean him up, up no problem. Even though Ruham is trying his best to defend him, but Spartan Morana going down on these air units, and then that's gonna be probably it. One last attempt. Up in the lead enforcer drop, but all the buildings are toast, dude. This is over. Gotta give up. We're going to game five decider. Skunky, team Skunky, Wizards likes to make it interesting, apparently. Oof. <laughs> the one anti-air vehicle turret versus the world. Dr. Hazy. What have you done? Yeah, the Team Red definitely got complacent with their lead. And they just didn't have anything to put the game away with, right? They, they were in a position where Team Blue barely had units. They were just crawling up under a shield. And they built up, built up a much better late game army. I think everybody here just got promoted. It's been a while since I've seen that one. It's level 1 Nightingales, man. Oh, yeah. Bruem's gonna try to 2v1 them now. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. There is no shields, no nothing. And the guys are giving up. We got ourselves to game 5, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Well, well, well. For once, we're going to Badlands. I love it. We've got Skunky. Going Generator first as well. That's Psychic Wizard in the teal. Together there are the Skunky Wizards. They're gonna be playing with Pavium and Forge. Super interesting. And in the red, this is Bruem. We've also got Dr. Hazy. This team is called the Hazy Ham. Anders and Colony. Now, Anders is pretty good here. Seeing as you can just fly around with Retriever Sentinel and keep harassing this base. As for Colony, he's just straight up good. Skip choppers early on. Drops left and right to control the mini bases up top.
the timing with the but the big drop as well is a pretty powerful one that you can absolutely destroy your base with or just gain superiority in the middle of the map. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to teleport from here to here. Do a show match after this tournament, dude, I'm beat. I'm, I'll be happy to make it through the finals. Do a show match. You do a show match. <laughs> Power extractor. Two is better than one. Good chopper, definitely a good start to the game as always, but we're not making anything at all. What happened? Bruem is the only one with a mini base. Like Team Blue is just so far ahead right now. Trying to capture that power node, but I think these marines should just run through all the way. There's nothing here to stop them. If this game goes an hour and they have the same map control, then it's a draw? Correct. That is correct. Like, if it's actually completely even and no one can make a dent, then we call it a draw. You have a last attack potential. So if someone has a pop advantage, they may, in fact, go and attempt an attack. If they can do significant damage, they can carry on doing that, and... We just call it by... by advantage from there. Until the fighting stops. Well, with the Pavium hero out and this massive infantry army as well, Including double snipers, I really like Sk Skunky Wizards' chances. I think they can actually get it done. Holy moly, that is a big slam from the hero, but it's getting weakened. Uh, goes into the animation, which then cancels the beam from Pavium. Snipers should be able to take it down, though. Heavy metal snipers. I'm just putting this out there. This is underutilized. We need more heavy metal snipers. The game should really have some sick riffs when that happens, but oh well. You can't win at everything in life. It is what it is. Chopper goes down. Marines getting picked off left and right. Generator is totally exposed. Why are they both unupgraded generators? Excuse me. What is happening? This is not supposed to be like this. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Bruham is in so much trouble. He's got no one here to defend him. Dr. Hazy went greedy. Fast tier 2. And they're gonna pay the price. That's not gonna be an hour long game. Skunky Wizards takes it with a reverse sweep. Finishing third place and taking home a little more points than the Hazy Ham for the qualifying towards the main event. Congrats to both teams, actually. Good stuff. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.